found all this leftover video footage from the Tasmanian trip last year. And as usual, I put a lot of time and effort into writing a thoughtful story. <laughs> About five seconds worth. You see, I've been rereading old issues of Traction ERAG, and while the editor, Dallas Shannon, can barely stay on the seat of a parked dirt bike. Hey! The art magazine editor's meant to be fantastic writers. I do like his writing style. So, I am stealing his editorial. The best thing? He can't sue me because I have officially joined the lunatic asylum that is Traction ERAG. So, here we go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. A simple yet telling question was asked recently. Do you let your professional colleagues know you ride a dirt bike? A whopping 78% of respondents said no. And this survey was real, administered to almost 1,000 dirt riders, asking questions about income, marital status, bike ownership, and so on. This sad statistic suggests that over three quarters of dirt bike riders are living in the closet, sneaking around on the weekends so their co-workers don't brand them as immature or irresponsible. Well, here's my own follow-up question. Are we sheep or are we lions? Traction ERAG, that free shitty magazine, has been offering off-road trips for more than six years, and not one low-functioning human being has ever shown up, except for a few Australians. Here's Barry Morris wearing his uh, his normal Canadian get-up. Look at that brown eye. Oh yeah, kung fu kicks, mate. Three days of riding, the guy's just turned into a fucking squamish zombie. There are plenty of doctors, engineers, lawyers, entrepreneurs, and executive types. And except for the lawyers, we've never met such a fine collection of people. Humble, helpful, sincere, and caring would be a more accurate way to describe the off-road community. The fact is, it's nearly impossible to attract losers because to participate in an off-road lifestyle, you pretty much need a successful life. <laughs> As you know, this shit ain't cheap. Therefore, instead of fearing the labels observers put on us, embrace them. Loser, miscreant, <laughs> and reprobate are typically fighting words. But off-road riding is so exhilarating, so enjoyable, we simply don't care what anyone thinks. The majority of society is oblivious to what really matters, and we figure <laughs> this won't be changing anytime soon. Consequently, we encourage you to enjoy your reprobate status. And go ahead, savour the disapproving looks next time you're sporting an arm sling at work.